Hey there. So I've had a couple questions about how do I get the speedometer and the track path onto the videos that I record from our autocross tracks. And uh, so I thought the easiest thing to do would be to just do a screen capture of adding the speedometer and the track path onto some of the GoPro videos from autocross last weekend. And I do that in the GoPro Quick app. So the first thing you do is go to the GoPro Quick app and connect your GoPro to uh, the app and hit control your GoPro. And this will connect your GoPro um, to your um, media. And so then you open the media and then just select any of the videos that you may have recorded um, from like an autocross event. So here's one of the autocross um, runs from last weekend. And the first step is to download the um, specific video file. So on the bottom left, you just hit download, and it takes a minute um, to save that media to um, your GoPro app. Um, so this one's going to take two minutes. Okay, now that the download's complete, you're just going to want to click that view media and it's going to bring you back to all the media that you've saved on your phone or saved to the app rather so you just open it up and now from here is where you hit the edit button so on the bottom left there's a little pencil button and that's your edit um, here's also where you can do your clips if you want to edit functions but you just hit edit um, so if you wanted to shorten it, for example, you could clip and edit um, out. If you forgot to, as I often do, forget to hit the end record at the end, um, you can shorten the clip. Um, but if you scroll to the right, as you can see, the furthest one is stickers, and that's where speedometer and track path live. So click on stickers, and I'm going to pause it. And so you can add speedometer. And depending where you want this to be, you just click it, uh, keep clicking it. So if you want it on the upper left, which is where I usually put it because of the placement of the camera on the C5 Corvette, um, we have a, a pretty significant part on the headrest at the top or the, the headliner. And so it leads for a nice um, backdrop for the speedometer. But if you wanted it on the right, you just click it again. If you want it on the bottom right, click it again, click it again, click on the left, and click it again and it goes away. So one click puts it on the top left. Um, the path, if you want the path, if you click it once, it's going to be on the top left, which would overlap with the speedometer, which is no good. So click it again, and it goes on the top right. So there's others. There's speed chart. There's altitude. There's G-force. Um, so if you want you know, to show your G-forces, uh, you can show that as well. Um, but these stickers all live right there. And you just click OK and that's where they all are and when you click save it saves it then to get it onto your phone you click this upload at the top um, and that will save to photos And that does take a little bit of time to prepare the clip and it will download it onto your phone, for example. And then all I do from there is save to my phone and um, then I airdrop it to my MacBook Pro and use it, put it into Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever you're gonna use to do your editing. And that's how you put the speedometer and the track path onto your GoPro videos from Autocross. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.